just X-ray interpretation, silhouette sign. X-ray images are black and white with different levels of grayscales. This difference in grayscales is because of difference in radiographic densities of anatomical structures. Visualization of outline of an anatomical structure or boundary of an organ is only possible if two organs with two different radiographic densities are located adjacent, adjacent to each other. If two organs have exactly the same density, they cannot be differentiated from one another. So the outline of heart is only visible because lungs have a different density to cardiac tissue. Often structures will change their radiographic appearance as a result of an abnormality and this is how an abnormality is picked up on an x-ray. Cardiac borders on a normal chest X are only visible because surrounding lungs have a very different density as compared to heart tissue. A lung tissue, for example, adjacent to heart will change its appearance as a result of pneumonia because of presence of exudates in alveoli of lungs. The heart border will not remain visible anymore. This is known as a silhouette sign. Silhouette sign is a powerful tool for radiologists which is used not only to confidently detect an abnormality but often near exact location of pathology as well. Consolidation for example in lingular region will obliterate left heart border and a radiologist can often confidently say that the pathology is in lingular region of superior lobe often without seeing a lateral view. Although a lateral view is highly recommended in case of any pathology. Similar pathology in left inferior lobe will usually still show left heart borders. The conditions that can produce cellulite sign include consolidation, effusion, masses, uh, collapse of portions of lungs which is known as uh, atelectasis. One has to be very careful during interpretation as pathology has to be of a decent size to produce cellulite sign. Retrocardic area on left side can often be considered false positive and this can be because of either projection or normal variation of steep slope of left hemidiaphragm. Lateral view will often confirm or do the otherwise. So the first x-ray that we saw clearly shows right and left heart borders versus second x-ray left heart border is completely obliterated as a result of consolidation in left upper lobe. Notice air bronchogram in peripheral branches of trachea which has become clearly visible because of loss of normal density of aerated lung. So this is a cellulite sign. Left heart border is not visible. Another x-ray showing consolidation in left lower zone but cardiac border is left cardiac border is still clearly visible indicating that the pathology is most probably in lower lobe which is which lies posteriorly and as the normal lung tissue of left superior lobe is bordering with left heart border left heart border is still clearly, clearly visible heart is located anteriorly and the tissue that is bordering with heart it still has air in it tissue of lung that has air in it the this picture and this x-ray has been copied from Dr. Chandra Shikhar's website and thank you this image has been copied from Wikicommerce website 
Thank you very much.